what's going on guys this is gz welcome to my channel so in this video we are going to test a new pen that came out for the demon hunter with the major update faint kiff so what it does is knife trap now plays a trap filled with hook change when it's triggered hold on let me equip this then we go into the skill to read the entire description from there so we are equipped with this pen here and knife trap where are these all right there it is the knife trap and it's the gather skill here you can see 12 seconds is the cooldown 26,000 is the damage to all nearby enemies maximum three charges you can have up to three traps at one time but they cannot be placed to overlap each other place traps uh, takes around 0.7 seconds to arm and turn invisible then life trap become a hook chain trap when trigger hook chain exploded from the trap dealing 27,000 damage and pulling nearby enemies together immobilizing them for four seconds night trap damage increased by 18 percent so chip of the stone flesh should also work with that and now let's see how it looks like because the last time the knife trap ascent came out it was really bad pretty much useless it was a beacon that attract enemies towards it if they are in the radius and it was not working as against a player but let's check out this one if this is any better all right going to test in major not major i mean i mean the elder rift so we have three charges and what this looks like hmm i can see what just happened there oh they just died the explosion did you guys saw the explosion there okay he's immobilized they cannot move for four seconds this actually looks nice also the mother limit actually trigger right 122 is the damage for this that's really good damage there from the mother lemon i mean the quick damage that it does is really good But does it pull enemies together? I'm not seeing that. They just stand at the same area, not able to move, but they don't pull in. But this seems to be working really nice. The radius is also really good. All right, let's move forward a little. Why did I just kill them? Also, the new shoulder might work with this as well, which put an uh, which I mean weaken the enemy's armor, but I don't have that right now. Hundred twenty one is the highest that I am seeing. Oh, I want to try something else as well but I don't think I'll be able to do this here so what we are going to do is let's finish this quickly let's finish this quickly and I will check Seeping bile, how does that work against? I mean, with this, how much of a trigger that we are going to see with the seeping bile? That would be nice to check out. And hmm, against the boss, is just all right. Let's exit. This is what it looks like on the ground. Where is my gate to leave?
all right time to replace one of the gem i'll keep this one because sleeping ball is going to take damage out from this as well the damage i mean increase from the paint class as well so let's go and see how does the poison trigger in enemies with this one is it good Ah, oh, need some more enemies. Oh, he, he, he died there from the poison. So it might be a little harder to see what happened. All right, it did trigger. Twenty thousand was the quit hit that I actually did. And seeping ball is actually triggering. What? What just happened there? And all right, let's finish his misery. That baby. Let's check this out in other area with bigger numbers. These aren't bigger numbers. Come on, where are the bigger numbers? Yeah, nice. This this here is this a bigger number definitely seeing seeping ball they're getting trigger really easily and it is also killing enemies come on boom be gone Our rule is a good one for PvP actually, I think. You'll be able to stop enemy for one second and that one second can make a lot of difference. 125k hit there. No, okay, sweeping ball didn't trigger at all. It did but the enemy died. Alright, let's just finish this now. Where are you? Yeah, hoping to hope that sipping ball would trigger and these enemy could stay alive for longer is not actually really easily possible for me. They just die from one to two hit. It just take one to two hit for them to die, so that's actually slightly harder for me to trigger my seeping bile on them, yeah. unless I am slowing down myself like this. So it's a good one, I would say. Maybe better for PvP only, but I have to think of a build to make it this make this work. But anyways, this is definitely better than the last one that came before this one so definitely should give this a try in pvp which i might later on but this is it for the video and i will see you guys in my next one take care have fun and bye guys